Hey guys, it's Lexi. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. So this video is gonna be a mix of a little bit of different things. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a breakfast recipe that I've been having a few times this week. And then I'm also gonna be taking you behind the scenes of like my cleaning routine. So I shared with you guys every day I do a cleaning task. So I filmed a couple of days to kind of share with you guys what that looks like. So let's get right into today's video. So this is gonna be a really delicious breakfast that you can have. I especially love having it like on the weekends. So I just washed and I'm prepping out some potatoes. So I'm using this vegetable chopper. If you guys don't have this by now, you have to get it. I'm gonna leave the link down below. I'm using the larger attachment. You get those perfect potato chunks. And then I'm just boiling them in some salt water until they kind of get softened. I used to add them straight to the air fryer, but I found it took forever to cook them, sometimes like over 20 minutes. So I like boiling boiling them first and then it only takes like five to eight minutes to really brown them. But I'm seasoning it up with some olive oil. I did some salt, some pepper, some garlic powder, onion powder. I even did some minced onion as well, but feel free to use whatever seasoning you want to use. make this power wrap I've seen so many different variations but this is my own little combination so I did some spinach let that cook a bit then I added some egg and then I added like a slice of turkey and then the tortilla and then you just flip it over and then I like to add a little bit of some cheese I had already seasoned the eggs with salt and pepper but you can also season at this point if you haven't already and then you just go ahead and flip it and there you go it's like a little tortilla filled with like your veggies your protein I call it like a power wrap because it keeps you full for such a long time. So I know you all love seeing cleaning motivation on my channel, so I thought it'd be fun to film a couple of days of my cleaning routine. So today I had to deep clean my office and pretty much I just do a deep cleaning task every single day. I have it typed out now, so every day I know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. So today was office day. I just need to wipe down all the surfaces and give my office a good vacuum. So before having this daily cleaning checklist, I used to spend hours and hours deep cleaning my home. I would give up like an entire Friday really deep cleaning my house. So now that I kind of just like deep clean one space a day, it helps out so much. It just really allows your home to stay clean. And also when you are doing your cleaning task, it doesn't take much time at all because you're doing this every single week. So once a week, I deep clean my office and just wipe down all of the surfaces. So so this day it only took me like 15 or 20 minutes to do this and not long at all. So the last thing I need to do in here is vacuum my office. So I do run my Roomba every single day and I'll let it come in here. But today I just kind of wanted to do a deeper vacuum. There's always like dust underneath my office chair and underneath that console. So I like to take the vacuum and really get under there and make sure I'm removing all of that dust. office is nice and tidy so I'm done for the day with cleaning but I wanted to share with you guys this PR package that I got it's by the brand Versed and I love the skincare it's super affordable I love their cleansing balm so I'm excited to try all of these other new goodies I'm 
So today's cleaning agenda was to deep clean both bathrooms. So this is a little bit of a longer cleaning day for me, but I like to just get both bathrooms knocked out in a day so I don't have to worry about it. It's probably like the most tedious cleaning task that I have on my cleaning checklist. But the amazing thing about having it typed out is that people that live in your household can really help you out, whether you have kids or husband. So my husband took over the guest bathroom, which was amazing. I could really focus my time on the master bathroom. So last week, I really focused my time on cleaning out the drawers and the cabinets. And this week, I really wanna focus on deep cleaning the surfaces. So we're wiping down the mirror, and then we're also gonna be wiping down this vanity and giving it a good scrub. I'm starting by using the Clorox Sentiva to wipe down the countertops. So since I'm doing a little bit of a deeper clean today, I wanted to not only wipe down the countertops, I wanted to scrub at them as well. So I took the time to wipe them down and then I sprayed my Dawn Power Wash and I love keeping the Scrub Daddy sponge in the bathroom. It's just really good at like scrubbing down surfaces. So I'm using it to scrub out the inside of the sink and also the countertops as well. If I could speak up then maybe you would hear or maybe the tent could disappear I'll give it a shot and whisper in your ear at least for a moment you would be near if I could get my feelings straight my reflection wouldn't be so blurry if I could see the whole dim landscape then I So the last thing I'm gonna be using this microfiber cloth on before I switch out to a new one is we're gonna be wiping down the exterior part of our cabinets, getting those nice and white and new again. So I grabbed a clean microfiber cloth and now I like to take a little bit of time to wipe down all of the items before adding it back to my countertop. So I'm wiping down my toothbrush, the container my toothbrush goes in, skincare fridge, soap pumps, all of the things. So I removed everything out the shower and now it is time to give the shower a deep clean. I will say that when you give it a deep clean once a week, it is so easy to clean. It used to take me like 30 minutes to an hour scrubbing at my shower, but now that I'm doing it weekly, it really only takes like 10 minutes. So I just spray some Dawn Power Wash on all of the surfaces. I don't even let it soak because it really doesn't need to. The shower wasn't really bad at all. And then I go in with this sponge. I'll have it linked down below. It has a handle and I just scrub at it. And I bring that Scrub Daddy sponge in here as well to really get any like crevices or like cracks that I can't get with this big sponge.
then I like doing the floor of the shower last, so I'm doing the same thing, spraying some Dawn Power Wash and giving it a really good scrub. And then the last step that I love doing is getting some Clorox spray, spraying it all over the shower, let it sit to really be able to disinfect the shower. When cleaning my toilet, I love using paper towel and disposable gloves. I don't like using my microfiber cloths when I'm cleaning the toilet or my reusable gloves. That way I can just toss all of these items in the trash when I'm done. But I start by wiping down the outside of the toilet and then I work my way on the inside and then give the bowl a good scrub down. So the Clorox spray had been sitting for about 15 minutes, so I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse it all away. Make sure you really rinse it well. You don't want that Clorox sitting on your grout because that will start to eat at it. So I make sure to hose everything down really well. So here's a little tip that I recently learned and it has been amazing. So get a spray bottle, fill it up with 70% alcohol and the rest water, give it a good shake and keep that spray bottle in your shower as well as a squeegee. And every time you take a shower, spritz it on the glass and use the squeegee and really just dry the glass. That way you won't have any hard water stains, you won't have any soap scum and it'll just make it really easy when you're cleaning your shower. So I'm doing it now but I also do it every time we take a shower we do this step and then the final step is to spray some rain -X. this not only cleans your glass but it's also going to repel that water preventing like hard water stains from forming in case you do forget to squeegee this is amazing so I just spray it on the glass and then I use a microfiber cloth to really buff it in there I do it on the inside of the glass and also the outside as well and you guys will see in the after shots how clean it really gets the glass of the shower. Make sure you add to wash your bathroom mats every single week. Those get a lot of bacteria in them. So you're definitely gonna want to wash those on a weekly basis. I added some borax, some washing powder, some scent beads. So that way they get smelling nice and fresh. I also added some vinegar as well, which is a really good disinfectant when you're doing a laundry. And we're back in the bathroom. I'm going to go ahead and vacuum these floors and then we're gonna be steam mopping them as well. And in case you're wondering, I add a little bit of essential oils to the cleaning pad on the steam mop and it just makes everything smell so good when you're steam mopping. It just allows that scent to really just fill the room. So the bathroom is smelling really good at this point. Those bathroom mats were nice and clean and dried. So I'm adding them back into the bathroom. And that is all I have for you guys today. Look how clean my shower is. Like it looks brand new. So if you haven't tried this cleaning routine in your shower, definitely give it a try. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Consider hitting that subscribe button and I'll be seeing you all very soon with a brand new video. Bye.